Hey guys, what is up? My name is Chief Ozzy, and welcome back to another Clash Royale Clash episode. Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about how to use the princess. I don't have this card, um, this troop, so I can't show it to you, but it is a legendary card and it's a troop. So let's go ahead and see what it can do. Uh, it does cost a relaxer, like, so just to let you know. So, first of all, starting off with its damage, it can do splash damage, so um, its early damage is basically 140, which is a lot. Uh, it's very good for infantry such as skeleton army or goblins or you know, um, bats. Uh, its damage per second is 46, uh, no, that's not very good, uh, pretty terrible. So, it's very good at AoE damage, so just like arrows or fireball or uh, lightning. Uh, it has 216 hit points, so the princess is super, super squishy. Like, literally, one shot of arrows or one shot of lightning or zap will literally kill her. So, you have to protect her very, uh, very, very good, or she will die. And I can tell you, she dies pretty fast. So, 216 hit points, she's super squishy. But that does explain why she has a lot of area damage, so it makes sense to lower her hit points. Otherwise, she'd be OP. Uh, her hit speed is 3 seconds, so it does take her a little bit time to, um, you know, shoot the arrows so she's not constantly shooting. Uh, yeah. And then target, she she obviously targets both air and ground, which is good because she can target, uh, you know, troops like minion hordes and minions, so those can be taken out in like 1 or 2 shots. Her speed is medium, uh, not that bad, but it just means she's a little bit slow. Alright, so her range is incredible. She's got 9 range, so literally... She can shoot from a very far distance. She can shoot like right from the bridge and onto the towers, like literally. Uh, from there, she could stand there and just chip off the crown towers one by one. So she does a lot of area damage, just remember that. Uh, and then her deploy time is really short, so one second. So yeah, that's pretty uh, pretty short. So if I were you, I mean, yeah, you definitely want to use this troop. Uh, the only disadvantage is she's got really low hit points, but uh, you have to protect her very well. If I were you, I'd put up a tank and then... Uh, deploy a princess right behind it. I'd probably deploy the tank right up at the bridge and then deploy a princess so she can, you know, assassinate the towers. And yeah, this one's really good for um, AoE damage dealing. I wouldn't use her as her as a main damage dealer because, you know, her, her single target damage is only 46. She's just good in AoE damage and yeah, that's all. She's not really good for like taking out like, you know, things like uh, the Electro Wizard or the Golem or whatever. Or, yeah, anything that is infantry she can take out, but anything that is not squishy, she is literally gonna die from it. So, yeah, she's the only weakness of her is that she can literally be killed by arrows, fireballs, rockets, uh, zaps, lightning, whatever. Yeah, all those can hit her, all those can kill her. So, any direct damage will do. I don't think uh, a rocket is efficient against her just because you know. Rockets are expensive and they cost a lot of elixir, so I'd probably use, um, you know, arrows or a fireball or a zap to kill her, but yeah, that's pretty much it, but, uh, in offense, I probably wouldn't let her, like, you know, stand there and start shooting at your targets for too long, because she can take them down a lot, so yeah. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, yeah, this troop is pretty awesome, it is OP, uh, definitely, definitely one of my favorite kinds, but I must admit, I don't have any warm feelings towards this lady. Had I had some more feelings, I'd probably punch her in the face. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.